Hello guys, welcome back to Tech Projects. I am back with another video. So in this video, we are going to see how to create custom switch in Android Studio. And believe on me, you will not going to find any solution related to this topic on Stack Overflow or on YouTube. So in this video, I am going to completely explain how to create custom switch using a track, thumb, and all other things. So before starting the video, let's see a demo what we are going to do in this video. So for this, I am opening my phone, and uh, you can see this is the custom switch. So it is showing two states. So if I am tapping on this here, so you can see it is saying not subscribed, subscribed. So basically we are going to create this in today's video. So don't further delay, let's start the video. And if you don't subscribe the channel till now, then please subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification. So now let's start the video. So for this, I have to open and create a new project. So I am going to create a new project and uh, empty activity next. You can give any application name to your project. I am just giving a custom switch to you. You can give any. It will create a new project for us. So project created successful. Now let's start writing code. So basically to create a custom switch, we have to create three things. One is our switch. One is our track where the switch is floating and one is that thumb which contain the text subscribe not subscribe. So first of all, I am going to create a switch. Then I will create a separate robots for thumb and track. So I'm just making a change here. So constraint layout to relative layout. You can use any layout and you can use switch anywhere. I'm just going to create one switch. That's why I change this. Then I take a material switch here. Just give the width and height wrap content and then center in parent. And you can pass through to place the full content into center. Now after this, what we need to do, we need to and by default I want to make my switch check true but it is your choice whether you want to make it check it true or false then to make it clickable we need to use this clickable true and focusable true otherwise clicks not work so make sure you add this then uh, uh, after this we need to add a text which you want to show on our custom switch so I am showing on text off if the my switch is off then I want to show not subscribed and if my switch is on then I want to show text subscribed then after this, we need to set the switch text appearance, which will help to set the text size of our switch. So you can create your custom style as well. So I am going to use this text appearance subhead. So it will create a basic text size. And then after this, what we need to do, we need to show text pass through and that's done. Now the switch class is created successfully. Now what we have to do, we have to create two drawables, separate drawables for track and for thumb. So let's create a drawable first for thumb. So I am expanding this and then layout folder, new layout resource file, and just I am giving the name resource file in thumb. You can give any name, it is your choice. And I done one mistake because I don't need to create a layout file, I need to create a drawable file. Sorry. So new drawable resource file thumb. Now to create a thumb first of all, because you can see in my design, the thumb contain a padding of 2 dp. So here you can see, this is the thumb and this white color is thumb basically. So it contain a padding of 2 dp. So I need to add a padding. So I am going to use layer list for this thumb. So just take an open bracket first of the type item. Then inside this, I just want to use a layer list. Then again, I have to use an item and now I just want to give Padding from bottom top, you can give padding bot from bottom top according to your own preference. It is totally depend on you. Left, right. So this is done. Now after this, I need to create a shape for this. So take an open bracket, type shape. And angle shape, rectangle. Then inside this, what we need to do, we need to use the corners and radius. You can give any, take any radius. I am giving here 16 dp, but you can give any, it is totally depend on you. Then solid and now the colors. So for thumb I want to use color white. So white. And after this you need to mention the size of your thumb. So you can use any size according to your own design. So I am going to use here 130 dp and height is also 40 dp. You can use any height. So our thumb is created successfully. So now what we need to do, we need to create a track for this. So drawable, drawable source file, track, and we need to create track now. So 
just take an open bracket type here item so now the track contains two conditions whether it is a check in check state or it is a not check state so if the check state is false then what i want to show so first of all close this item inside this just take a shape then android shape rectangle and inside this we need to pass some colors and corner radius and sizes so i am just copying this code and just pasting this here so inside this i just want to radius 20 dp not 16 so for the track and now the for if the check if my switch is in unchecked state then i have to use this in different color so i am going to use this color hashtag a3 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 so this is the color code for this and if the this is my track so track width should greater than your um, switch and it depend on your design so this is done now we have a, another state called uh, check state so just paste this again here and just change this to true and now in selected state you can set any color which you want to give so i am just giving here ff0 b0 b so this is done so this is also created successfully now open your activity main and where we write the code so just type here thumb and pass your thumb problem and just type here track and pass your track problem so this is done so you can see now our switch is created successfully now let's run this application and see whether it is working or not if it is working fine then we will end this video so project will successful it is launching the app application in our phone application installed successfully and you can see our switch is working fine so i hope guys you learned something new in this video if you have any query if you have any question just comment down below i will try to give the answer of every comment please like the video please subscribe the channel please support the channel we are already getting so much low views so please try to support the channel so thank you guys see you soon in next amazing video thank you